Jessie B scrapbooking back with another process video. This time I'm using this beautiful paper pad. It um, has lo loads and loads of purples and greens and gold foiling and I absolutely love it. I got it for my birthday about two years ago and yeah it's just one of my absolute favorite pads and I have a tendency to not use it because I always, I hoard it. And so I'm going to try using it today. Um, this is the sketch from um, Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And so I am going to see what I can do with that. Here are the pictures. <laughs> the expression that I have on my face and that my daughter has on hers is because we were trying to be serious because we were actually, I don't know if you can see it on video, drawing each other. And she did a way better job at drawing than I did. I made her look too young. But, so we had to keep our face in a neutral uh, look. And it, so when we took the picture, we tried to keep the same look. <laughs> so it looks like we're both very depressed. But actually, we were having a lot of fun. And it took forever to get a picture without us um, smiling and laughing. So, these are the two pictures I am going to um, document today, and using this paper pad, and that's all I know I'm going to do. So, let's get scrapbooking. Okay, I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's a sketch, the pad, pictures I chose, but oh boy, did I give me some troubles. I picked out my paper. I like this um, purple with the um, feathers in the background. And then I had this um, cut apart uh, paper in there that had these stripes on it. And I thought these would be perfect for making the chevron. Well, I only had one of the cut aparts. It actually came with two, but I've already used one. So I only have this one. And so I'm trying to make it work. And I start off with these um, chevron or arrow looking, um, piece, and I think, okay, yeah, this will work, and I can put my two pictures here, well, I didn't like that, because, a couple reasons, the purple blended in too much with the background, so I didn't like that, so I decided to go with the, um, darker green color, and so I cut out two, of them from the paper pad here. So there's the second one cut out. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, this is going to work better. I like the color a lot better. So I am cutting them in half at six inches. And I thought, oh, I don't need to cut that one yet. So let me just start with this one. So. I lay it down. Okay, yeah, I like that. Put the pictures over it. And I go to this one. And I don't know what I was thinking. I thought maybe I could do the two. And like, no, that's not going to work. And so I'm just going to put it here, grab my scissors, and lob it off right there. Yeah. That will bite me later. So, I got them both. I, yeah, like I said, giving me lots of problems. So, I futz around some more with these, thinking, okay, I'm going to have this big of a space. And then I remember, oh, this one's funny. I take this little triangle and I put it up to the top, like, because in the sketch, you know, the chevrons go clear to the top. Yeah, that that's just ridiculous. I don't know what I was thinking. It doesn't stay. So and then I realized, okay, I need to back my pictures. So I tried this cut apart. And nope, too small. Don't like it. So I bring in this piece of scrap paper here. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this will work. So that's where I um, think I'm going to place these pictures. 
and um, I have the mat you to use as a template to know how to lay down my little um, triangles here and or chevrons and okay so I'm doing some more putzing around and put that stupid little triangle back at the top it yeah I have no idea what I was thinking so I'm like okay I'm just gonna start gluing these strips of paper down and I use this nice long um, 18 inch ruler and um, get it all lined up so that my uh, chevrons are you know look pretty good and um, I put these stripes a lot closer to the other ones and or before when I was playing with it I was spraying them out a lot I definitely like it a lot better closer and then I end up getting a phone call and end up having to go to the job site when I come back I looked at the picture and realized I did not want those pictures on this layout so I grabbed these two of my cat Smokey and they're both the same cat pictures are different the one had a filter on it which I really liked the picture but it did not match with the paper or the other picture so I just got rid of it and decided just to do the one photo but now my photo mat is huge and um, it's taking up a lot of room but I'm thinking okay maybe I'll just like um, build it up so I looked at the sketch again and realized that there's a banner running on the bottom of it so I grabbed that um, arrow paper that I had first um, wanted to use and decided to turn it into the banner which I do like this um, but now I can't figure out how I want that photo mat I think it, I'm just looking at it going realizing it's just way too big so I decide it needs more so I grabbed these cut aparts and I was looking at them and realized that they were just all big and I love the colors and stuff but there are um, still you know have this big element to it so I decided to cut the mat down finally and then I'm like oh great now my stripes are way too short so how am I going to cover that up so you see me here playing with the arrow back like okay well that's kind of working if I cover up this area with this half uh, circle I have left maybe that would work and then, then some of these titles are really good and that one there I decide that's going to be my title but I just have to figure out where to put it but again it's the purple and going on the purple so I figured I better cover or mat it too with the um, aqua green and um, just give it a tiny border so it kind of pops off the page a little bit and the title is um, it's so easy to love you so I'm like okay maybe I can put it here and mess with her around with it there and then I'm like I'll oh, forget it I'll, I'll think about that one in a little bit let me see what else I can do here and I found that piece that I had cut off of the center of that one and like oh I can lengthen my um, top stripe here so <laughs> I was thinking oh yeah I need to put something up on the top I need those chevrons to go all the way up and realize yeah that's just not going to work at all so I um, put that away for a second and um, decided to double map my picture here um, she was smoky was getting kind of lost in the uh, background of that uh, blue paper so I'm just putting this little white border around it and then um, that just makes the picture pop a little bit more I think I really like that okay See what I mean by I just struggled so hard with this um, 
layout for some reason. I don't normally have this much problems with uh, figuring out how I'm going to lay things. But here's where I start to lengthen those, um, that top chevron there to make it look like it goes all the way under the picture there. And uh, I do it with uh, both sides here. But this one, the angle was wrong. The other one, I could place it together and it worked perfect. But this one, I had to kind of uh, fudge it a little. and uh, But it worked out. I get that down and figure out where I can hide it so you won't know that it uh, doesn't go all the way. And... Playing around with my pieces some more. That title. I I want to use it, but I just don't, can't figure out where it needs to go. So you're going to see it move quite a bit. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I said, okay, well, I do know that I need this little arrow piece to land here. And this banner stripe, I mean, or... I don't even know what you would call it, but I call it an arrow banner stripe. <laughs> yeah, so I put it down. I committed. It's down. I'm happy with it there. And now I'm playing with that title again. And I'm trying to decide exactly where I want the picture to end up. And yeah, more, more move in the title. I just, I, I keep going back to it. Mm, that's probably what took the longest on this whole layout here. I seen this um, adorable little, um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a doily or a flower or whatever in the cut parts. It's a, it was one of the um, four by three or three by three um, cut parts. And so I fussy cut it out. And thought, okay, that will be perfect to go behind the title somewhere, wherever I end up sticking it. But first, you know, I decide the picture needs to be popped up. So, I uh, pop it up on some fun film here. And, like, yep, okay, I like that. And get the little, the round half round piece figured out and then I'm like oh I'll just put the title up here and that is where it's going to stay so it was just like oh yeah that makes it perfect so I commit to putting this half circle there and figured okay I'm done with moving this picture every which way and so I finally stick it down and then I trim off the edges of that are sticking out at the bottom and back up to the title. I know that the title in the sketch is not up there, but I cannot get it to work. I think it's because my whole um, layout shifted down because I made my chevrons so much smaller that um, it, it threw off the, um, the balance of it. So pulling the title up on top here kind of restored that, that balance, in my opinion. And I just, I, I like it up there a lot. I was looking at this uh, cut apart with the stripes, and I'm like, oh, I really like this white with the, um, little arrows, uh, golden arrows, and I wanted to use the white because the only white really I have in the whole layout is the border behind smokes and that little uh, bit of white in the half circle in the back, and so I figured it needed to be in at least one more spot. Ends up coming in, I guess you could consider it two more spots because you could look at that stripe as a whole piece across the back 
and then I put that uh, other part of it up at the by the title and uh, yeah I, I like that a lot looking at it I thought that the circle was disappearing so I just outlined it in a uh, black pen and just give it that little bit of a shadow and here's where I put that little straight up with the arrows on it up at the top there and I figured okay I'm done with the paper now pretty positive but nope I found this other so this is kind of like a subtitle it's just a little piece of uh, that was in in the scraps kit and it says so sweet now my husband looked at me when I was doing this and started laughing he says that uh, I was misleading with my uh, scrapbooking because this cat is not sweet she she can be when she wants to be but for the most part she's uh, quite feisty but when she wants to be she really is sweet so we put, I put so sweet there and then I decided it needs just a tiny bit more so I, I look at this and it has a whole bunch of little sayings on it but it just didn't work like I wanted it to so there's my finger tapping it means I'm thinking about something and I remembered this sticker book I got at Walmart it's for planners but the colors in it are a really good match for this paper pad so I go and I grab this little label with a heart on it and I stick it down here under so sweet and then a tiny bit darker one I just stick over here on the side just to bring that in in two different spots and then this gold label with the heart I layer it over the first label and I just keep flipping through the book and looking at different things that I like and that I think might um, work for this layout and do a lot of flipping <laughs> and I find these circles and I know there's no real circles in the sketch but by this time I'm like yep I'm just gonna make this work something in here is gonna work and so I put those two circles and this heart on there I'm like okay I like that and there was one more circle and heart that matched um, really well so I grabbed those ones and put them on here and decide that those also needed to be outlined in the black um, so they didn't get lost so I outline them and then I write Smoky and put her name down there and then I grab my sequins and this this batch of sequins is mostly uh, the greens there's a purple that got mixed in with it but so I'm just gonna scatter them kind of throw them out and decide where um, I want them all to go and I'm just using that kind of aqua green color at first thinking yeah that was the only color I was going to use and you don't I don't make you watch me put them all down and then I decided no nope, I want gold too so I went and I found my gold sequence and I put just a couple golds in each of the little clusters that I made and off this here and that's it that's my layout I hope you liked it if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe